Why am I filming myself eating muesli? That's a great question, I don't know. Hello everybody! Welcome to C and Me, I'm Maria. For those of you who know me already, welcome back ocean people. And for those of you who are new, just a brief introduction. I am a PhD student, I, did, I have an education in marine biology and ecology, and I'm currently doing my PhD in marine microbiology. In this channel I talk about marine things, about my life as a PhD student, and how life is, and a bit about science and marine biology and things I just think that are interesting. So I know that many of you who are watching this video are interested in pursuing a career in marine biology. So I thought I will just give you a little bit of help if you are starting a career or thinking about having a career in marine biology. Just some tips and things that I think are good to know when you start. First thing, when you start studying biology, there's generally two groups of people. So the first one, people who have a very clear idea of what they want to do, of what they want to study, or kind of animal or coral reefs or dolphins or any other thing that they already, that once they start their studies, or already with something in mind. And then there's the second group of people where I think I fitted better when I started my studies, which is you just really like the ocean and you like being doing stuff it, it, that are related to the ocean, going outdoors, or just you just like it and you don't really have a clear idea of what you want to do. You just know you want to work with something that is related to the ocean and marine life. So if you are part of the first group, it's a bit easier so you already know what you want to do. And for these people, I really advise if you have an idea of what you want to do, as, as soon as possible, start reading into what kind of research you can do on this field and contact people working on it and try to get, engage with uh, communities that are already looking at uh, working on on these topics uh, researchers or any other ngo try to get experience because this first of all will help you understand if this is really what you want because sometimes people get really disappointed with the kind of work they have to do where in a topic that they really expect it to be amazing. I mean, it can still be amazing, but sometimes people have a really wrong impression of what working in a specific topic is. So if you have an idea of what you want to do or something you want to work on, then just just look for somewhere where you can gain experience on that and also talk to as many people as possible and try to understand if this is really what you want. For the se second group of people, um, I advise, first of all, that you start trying to understand in which direction you want to go. Do you want to work with a specific animal? Do you want to work in, in a, specific, a specific environment? Do you want to go out on the field? Do you want to do more lab work? Do you, don't, you, don't, do you not want to do any of those? Do you just want to do computer work? Do you want to work with, an eco, with ecosystems, with interaction, interactions between species? Try to figure out by reading and by listen, go, talking to people who work on different things, what kind of thing fits you. And once you found what you think interests you, then I go back to what I said to group one. Just go look for something you can do on this field. Try to look for someone you can work with, professors, companies. Companies maybe in marine biology might be difficult or not in some situations. I'm, well, I'm rambling. Anyways, but try to find just somewhere where you can gain experience and get a better idea of what you want to work on. The, 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 this is very, I know, the easier said than done, defini definitely, because marine biology is a very broad field and there are a lot of ramifications and sub-disciplines that you can work on in marine biology. But it's good to start exploring, like don't, real, don't freak out too much about it in the beginning, because in the beginning you're just getting a general idea of what biology actually, or, or science, or any university degree is all about. But it's already good to start like, okay, this might interest me, like have a, your antennas, like your sensors, ready to absorb things that you think might be something for you in the future. The opportunities that you have to work on a specific field, of course, highly depend on which university you are, in which country you are, 
but I, I even if there's nothing that really attracts your eye or, or if even if you're in your university or your sphere of places that you can go work or volunteer if there even if there's nothing that you think yeah this is exactly what I want still explore try different things you might be surprised I would have never ever in my wildest dreams thought when I started biology or marine biology that I would make do my PhD in marine microbiology never I, I, if you would have told me that uh, when I started I was <laughs> I would have laughed in your face because I was never a big lab fan I never was I somehow it's grown grown to me now I really enjoy I really enjoy the balance between lab work and computer work and field work so I think this combination is really great and you can have that in marine microbiology but if you have told me that in the beginning of before I started working on it I would have said never but I did try it and I loved it so here I am and I'm really happy. So to explore, you might have a very positive surprise. Gaining experience is something which is very important because it's gonna be mostly what people will be looking for when you apply for grants or for a job. Your experience and in science your published papers. And if you are lucky enough and you work in a project that that then publish in a project with people that publish a paper it might be even that you are a second author or you are one of the many authors that are in these papers and this is this is the best thing that can happen because when you apply for PhD grants for instance at least here in Europe the number of papers you published is very important and gives you a very very uh, high advantage in comparison to someone who hasn't published anything and it's very important to show the people you work with that you have a thinking mind. Be a thinker, not a follower. Show that you can have in your own ideas, that you can think, that very important that you can question things because there's nothing more important in science than to be critical, not only of other people's work, but of your own work. Try to show that you can, that you think about what you're doing, that you give, that you, you're not doing it just because someone told you to. This is absolutely important. I mean this is important not only to show but it's important also for your career and especially in science. I mean if you cannot have a critical mind it's difficult to make a career in science because science is all about asking questions and finding answers for them so if you cannot ask questions and if you cannot if you're not critical about things it's it's maybe science is not the exactly the best job for you but sometimes people think they're not critical and that they are not people who are general they're, they're not curious people but I found many people who found out that they actually are after they started working in science so you never know you never know I always say you never know something until you try it so maybe if you to try it like explore explore the scientific world and the opportunities that you have around you to work and and maybe you get positively surprised I think critical thinking is always important not only in science in life I think we have to be able to think for ourselves sorry for the little um, sneaky lesson now so I think this was kind of this was this kind of my advice um, so this is a very spontaneous video I just realized I didn't film anything for a long time I was in Portugal for a couple of Actually, for ten days, I did do some. I did do. I did film something there, and I, I am working on a couple of videos, which look for, for look forward to them. They're cool, um, but they are taking a bit longer. So I just decided to have this little chit chat with you because I know many of you are starting in marine biology, and I think maybe some in some places in the world now is the beginning of a semester, like not now but in September, and it's always good to remind that, you know. You don't have to stress about things too much, but it's always good to like keep an eye open for possible things that you might help you in the future. So this was it, Ocean People. If you have more questions or if there's something you want me to talk about, write in the comments below. And uh, I will hope to see you in the, one of the next videos. See you.